Eurasia is a combined continental landmass of Europe and Asia. The term is a portmanteau of its constituent continents Europe and Asia. Located primarily in the northern and eastern hemispheres, it is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west, the Pacific Ocean to the east, the Arctic Ocean to the north, and by Africa, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Indian Ocean to the south. The division between Europe and Asia as two different continents is a historical social construct, with no clear physical separation between them. Thus, in some parts of the world, Eurasia is recognized as the largest of the six, five, or even four continents on Earth. In geology, Eurasia is often considered as a single rigid megablock. However, the rigidity of Eurasia is debated based on paleomagnetic data. Eurasia covers around 55 million square kilometers, 21 million square miles, or around 36.2% of the Earth's total land area. The landmass contains well over 5 billion people, equating to approximately 70% of the human population. Humans first settled in Eurasia between 60,000 and 125,000 years ago. Some major islands, including Great Britain, Iceland, and Ireland, and those of Japan, the Philippines, and Indonesia, are often included under the popular definition of Eurasia, in spite of being separate from the contiguous landmass. Physiographically, Eurasia is a single continent. The concepts of Europe and Asia as distinct continents date back to antiquity and their borders are geologically arbitrary. In ancient times the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara, along with their associated straits, were seen as separating the continents, but today the Ural and Caucasus ranges are more seen as the main delimiters between the two. Eurasia is connected to Africa at the Suez Canal, and Eurasia is sometimes combined with Africa to make the largest contiguous landmass on Earth called Afro-Eurasia. Due to the vast landmass and differences in latitude, Eurasia exhibits all types of climate under the Köppen classification, including the harshest types of hot and cold temperatures, high and low precipitation and various types of ecosystems. History Eurasia formed 375 to 325 million years ago with the merging of Siberia, Kazakhstania, and Baltica, which was joined to Laurentia, now North America, to form Euramerica. Chinese cratons collided with Siberia's southern coast. Eurasia has been the host of many ancient civilizations, including those based in Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley and China. In the Axial Age mid -first millennium BC, a continuous belt of civilizations stretched through the Eurasian subtropical zone from the Atlantic to the Pacific. This belt became the mainstream of world history for two millennia. <laughs> Geopolitics Originally, Eurasia is a geographical notion, in this sense, it is simply the biggest continent, the combined landmass of Europe and Asia. However, geopolitically, the word has several different meanings, reflecting the specific geopolitical interests of each nation. Eurasia is one of the most important geopolitical concepts, as Zbigniew Brzezinski observed. How America «manages» Eurasia is critical. A power that dominates Eurasia would control two of the world's three most advanced and economically productive regions. A mere glance at the map also suggests that control Eurasia would almost automatically entail Africa's subordination, rendering the Western Hemisphere and Oceania geopolitically peripheral to the world's central continent. About 75% of the world's people live in Eurasia, and most of the world's physical wealth is there as well, both in its enterprises and underneath its soil. Eurasia accounts for about three-fourths of the world's known energy resources. At the moment one of the most prominent projects of the European Union EU is the Russia-EU-4 Common Spaces Initiative. However, no significant progress was made and the project was put on hold after Russia-EU relations deteriorated after the crisis in Ukraine. An economic union of former Soviet states named the Eurasian Economic Union was established in 2015, similar in concept to the EU. The Russian concept of Eurasia corresponded initially more or less to the land area of Imperial Russia in 1914, including parts of Eastern Europe. One of Russia's main geopolitical interests lies in ever closer integration with those countries that it considers part of Eurasia. This concept is further integrated with communist eschatology by author Alexander Dugin as the guiding principle of self-sufficiency of a large space during expansion. 
Every two years since 1996 a meeting of most Asian and European countries is organized as the Asia-Europe Meeting Use of term History of the Europe-Asia division In ancient times, the Greeks classified Europe derived from the mythological Phoenician princess Europa and Asia derived from Asia, a woman in Greek mythology as separate «lands». Where to draw the dividing line between the two regions is still a matter of discussion. Especially whether the Kuma Manich Depression or the Caucasus Mountains form the southeast boundary is disputed, since Mount Elbrus would be part of Europe in the latter case, making it and not Mont Blanc Europe's highest mountain. Most accepted is probably the boundary as defined by Philip Johann von Strallenberg in the 18th century. He defined the dividing line along the Aegean Sea, Dardanelles, Sea of Marmara, Bosporus, Black Sea, Kuma Manich Depression, Caspian Sea, Ural River, and Ural Mountains. Anthropology and genetics In modern usage, the term «Eurasian» is a demonym usually meaning «of or relating to Eurasia» or «a native or inhabitant of Eurasia». The term «Eurasian» is also used to describe people of combined «Asian» and «European» descent. West or Western Eurasia is a loose geographic definition used in some disciplines, such as genetics or anthropology, to refer to the region inhabited by the relatively homogeneous population of West Asia and Europe. The people of this region are sometimes described collectively as West or Western Eurasians. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Located primarily in the eastern and northern hemispheres, Eurasia is considered a supercontinent, part of the supercontinent of Afro-Eurasia or simply a continent in its own right. In plate tectonics, the Eurasian plate includes Europe and most of Asia but not the Indian subcontinent, the Arabian Peninsula or the area of the Russian Far East east of the Chersky Range. <laughs> Post-Soviet countries 19th-century Russian philosopher Nikolai Danilevsky defined Eurasia as an entity separate from Europe and Asia, bounded by the Himalayas, the Caucasus, the Alps, the Arctic, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, a definition that has been influential in Russia and other parts of the former Soviet Union. Nowadays, partly inspired by this usage, the term Eurasia is sometimes used to refer to the post-Soviet space, in particular Russia, the Central Asian republics, and the Transcaucasian republics, and sometimes also adjacent regions such as Turkey, Mongolia, Afghanistan and Xinjiang. This usage can be seen in the names of Eurasianet, the Journal of Eurasian Studies, and the Association for Slavic, East European, and Eurasian Studies, as well as the titles of numerous academic programs at U.S. universities. Another prominent example of this usage is in the name of the Eurasian Economic Community, an organization including Kazakhstan, Russia, and some of their neighbors, and headquartered in Moscow, Russia, and Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. The word, ''Eurasia'' is often used in Kazakhstan to describe its location. Numerous Kazakh institutions have the term in their names, like the LN Gumilev Eurasian National University Kazakh, LN Gumilev Atindaji Eurasia Tik Universiteti Russian, Evrozyskij Nationalnij Universitet Ameni LN Gumileva Lev Gumilev's Eurasianism ideas having been popularized in Kazakhstan by Olzhas Sulemanov, the Eurasian Media Forum, the Eurasian Cultural Foundation Russian, Evrozyskij Fond Kulturi the Eurasian Development Bank Russian, Evrozyskij Bank Razvisha and the Eurasian Eurasian Bank. In 2007 Kazakhstan's president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, proposed building a «Eurasia Canal» to connect the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea via Russia's Kuma Manich Depression in order to provide Kazakhstan and other Caspian Basin countries with a more efficient path to the ocean than the existing Volga-Don Canal. This usage is comparable to how Americans use «Western Hemisphere» to describe concepts and organizations dealing with the Americas e.g., Council on Hemispheric Affairs, Western Hemisphere Institute for Security Cooperation. See also Asia-Europe Foundation Asia-Europe Meeting Afro-Eurasia 
Borders of the Continents Council of Europe Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations Eastern Partnership Eurasia 1984 Eurasian disambiguation Eurasian Economic Community Eurasia Tunnel Eurasian Union Eurasianism European Union Euronist Parliamentary Assembly Federation of Euro-Asian Stock Exchanges Intermediate Region Laurasia, a geological supercontinent joining Eurasia and North America. List of Eurasian countries by population List of supercontinents Marmaray – railway tunnel links the Europe to Asia. Neo-Eurasianism Organization of the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe Palearctic Shanghai Cooperation Organization Steppe Route Turkish Straits Vega Expedition, the first voyage to circumnavigate Eurasia United States of Eurasia Further reading The Dawn of Eurasia, On the Trail of the New World Order by Bruno Mackays, publisher, Alan Lane D. Lane, V. Samokvalov, The Eurasian Project and Europe Regional Discontinuities and Geopolitics, Palgrave, Basingstoke 2015. V. Samokvalov, The New Eurasia, Post-Soviet Space Between Russia, Europe and China, European Politics and Society, Vol. 17, 2016 Issue Sup 1, The Eurasian Project in Global Perspective Journal Homepage References